Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos, and welcome to the Great Vault video thing that I make. Which actually, now there's a couple other content creators making them as well, so if this is the kind of content that you enjoy, check out my friends Automatic Jack and Growl, aka Yummy TV, who both uh, have started making these videos as well. This week I have five Great Vaults for you, but one of them is on this warrior, which I do not believe has any realistic hope of finding an upgrade out of the vault. Uh, last week I got my old warrior soul from raid, but we didn't actually I didn't actually kill three mythic bosses on this character So I don't have a mythic vault of raid. I do however have a M plus slot so a 252 overwhelming power crystal would represent I think the only possible upgrade that could come out of here these muck wallow stompers I'm afraid do not so I will be taking the attendance tokens of merit even though these things are a lot less necessary than they used to be because uh, you can get research so quickly. So that's not a big deal. The, this character, uh, not not really likely to find any upgrades for the rest of the patch. The I guess the only other things that could come out of the vault that would be good would be leech and avoidance and stuff. But yeah, it's, uh, it's basically all set. Didn't do anything on my Demon Hunter last week. We only did one raid clear because we managed to convince our GM to cancel the, uh, the second run. We'll see if we're successful at, at doing that again this week. It'll be tough. He Last week he told us uh, we, it was a one-time thing only. But then this week is Thanksgiving week, so maybe we can maybe we can bamboozle him into, into another short raid week. Okay, this is my Warlock. Warlock is uh, 237. Has a couple of these Corthian trinkets. You know, those sorts of items. But otherwise is uh, got a lot of, you know, heroic gear and some great vault gear including this 252 Soul Lighting Ruby, which I think was the character's first Great Vault. I did one key on it last week as well. And now I will collect the Plague Fall Trinket, the ooze bottle thing. Nope, I'll take uh... a... <laughs> the... Wow, what are the odds of that? One of the items, uh, an exact duplicate of an item I already have. I did not think I was... I guess there was a good chance I was going to take a token of merit. Because right, if I got if I got any boots, except if they had better stats, any pants, right, necklace, I probably wouldn't have even taken shoulders because th this is a domination shard piece. I guess I was I was probably it was probably what like a twenty percent chance that I was gonna find uh, that I was gonna take a token of merit out of the box there, maybe a little bit less, not sure, so not horrifically unlikely or anything like that. All right, the mage is up next. Now this character still hasn't crafted a legendary. Um, I'm not sure which legendary I will craft as well. There are a couple of my characters where I'm actually kind of like I don't want to craft the Covenant legendaries on them. This isn't really one of them. Th this one I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't craft the Covenant legendary as the one I crafted. But I was uh, on my um, on my warlock, for instance, to play Affliction in keys and craft that the satchel, the decaying soul satchel. Knowing that there's that legendary belt coming next patch, it's like that. Oh man, there's a good chance that I'll be wasting my gold if I do that. Um, I guess pretty much no matter what, if you craft a 262 legendary, you're probably wasting your gold if you, because you're gonna have to upgrade to 275 anyways or something next patch. So maybe, uh, maybe there's no getting around it. But I don't know. I don't have enough cinders or ash. I don't have enough cinders to make a 262. And I really don't want to make like a 239. So I'm just going to keep collecting like 20 cinders per day that I log into this character and open the mission table. Which means in a couple years I will have uh, have my next legendary. Uh, this character has a, a changeling. And I've gotten three rings out of my great vaults. And I've also gotten shoulders. But other than that, any other slot should be an upgrade. Any trinket that's good to replace this Tome of Insight. Let's see what we got. Oh, another shoulders. This one is haste mastery instead of verse mastery. Dude, my add-ons keep experiencing these errors. Uh, I think these are gonna be better stats. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of a thin likelihood that that's gonna get that's gonna be very much used to me. But I really don't need the research either. We'll go with it. All right, uh, then we've got, I didn't do a key on my Shaman. I didn't do a key on my Hunter. 
I did do a key, or I didn't do a key, but I did do three mythic bosses on my druid. Now I gotta actually decide what loot spec I wanna open the vault as on this character. It's most likely if I play it for stuff, it's it's gonna be as a tank. But I have Sylvanas and Kel'Thuzad in my loot table, and I they don't really have good guardian spec items. Whereas, if I set myself up to open as like balance, you know, I could get a 259 staff, right? The Maledict Opus. That thing is pretty cool. I already have the Windrunner's Baldric belt. I guess the ring from Sylvanas is pretty good. There's not really other good stuff, though, at 259. What other items even really upgrade me? Yeah, I don't have any super low eye level stuff. I think I'm going to loot spec. I, yeah, I think I'm going to loot spec balance. Try and get that that cool staff. Let's see what it looks like. The Oscillating Ouroboros. All right. I think I'm going to take this, but I'm not going to be particularly happy about it. This is, I, I'll probably wear this. I, I Actually, if, if I can't socket this, I might not even put this thing on. But whatever. It's a, a useful ring to have. I guess I should have made sure I didn't already have one. Yeah, I did 239. 239 socketed one, though. Yeah, I don't know what the odds are of this character socketing anything in the near future, but... Yeah, anyway. Uh, all right. We've had a pretty disappointing set of vaults so far, but I've I've activated a cheat code, which is I also did a key on my Paladin. Paladin is one where the set bonus looks particularly exciting. So I was kind of interested in uh, in starting to to gear up, maybe maybe to do some prop Paladin stuff next patch. I don't know. Um, so I did a key. It was a difficult key. We did two chests. But I feared for my life most of the way through. Let's actually look at the dead. Did I even die? I'm not sure if I even died, but I felt like I was dying all the time. Definitely somebody died. Okay, it was just our Moonkin that died. Yeah, it was a genius run. It was very easy. We had no uh, no difficulty clearing through the whole place. Our Affliction Warlock did 14k overall, and I did 3k. But yeah, this character is 215 eye level. I believe there is no item that could come out of this Great Vault that I would not... Click. I think any item would be an upgrade. The only possible bad thing would be like a complete potato trinket or gloves, because gloves are where I have a domination socketed heroic raid piece. Anything except for, for those. There's no chance the vault contains one of those items. Ooh. All right. Well, IQD is not... Uh, I don't think it's that sick for any of the paladin specs but this is a cool trinket and there are a lot of people that really like it so me getting it on this 215 character for the first great vault i've opened this season should annoy at least some people uh which is probably worth so very cool all right there's my vaults done for this week next week i should have some more raid vaults uh we'll see which characters i manage to sneak into the raid as well maybe i can start opening some raid vaults on something like the warlock uh perhaps and I'll try and get some keys done on some characters as well. Try and start getting to a point where we open a lot of vaults again. Um, I need to start collecting just gear on some characters. Get them uh, get them sorted. I'm working on Renown on a bunch of different covenants. You can see how much work I'm putting in here. I've gotten all the way up to 41 after clicking the button to get myself to 40. So uh, very much making a lot of progress. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Check out the uh, other content on the channel over the course of this week. Not really sure what uh, what other content I'll be making this week, but I'll try and make some cool videos if I can think of some. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.